Do you know Escariasis is the round worm uh, helminthic infection and more than 1.2 billion people are suffering from it. Hello folks, myself Dr. Vivek Bakshi, I am the intensivist and critical care physician at Shelby Hospital Naroda, Ahmedabad. Today I am going to discuss more about Escariasis. My friends, Escariasis itself is a most common roundworm helminthic infection worldwide we already discussed and it is caused by Escariasis, uh, Escheria lumbricoids and Escheria sum. Anybody, anybody are susceptible to this helminthic infection but the most importantly the, uh, the age group which is from 2 year to 10 years of age the child children are most commonly susceptible and mostly susceptible for the infection but it also infect adults the transmission of escariasis primarily it is via uh, decontaminated food and water where and in, you know in some areas where the sanitation processes or sanitation practices are very suboptimal or poor and where there is a fecal contamination of food soil and water and children they get uh, you know uh, escariasis from you know while they are playing in the soil which is already contaminated or infected as we discussed it is very common more than 1.2 billion people are suffering right now. The escariasis, once you get infected, the symptoms, most of the patients are remain asymptomatic. But the symptoms may occur in two stages, early stage and late stage. Around 10 to 15 percent of total population of which who are infected, got infected, they may have respiratory symptoms initially after two to five days of infection. And they are like dry cough, fever, wheezing like whistling sounds while you breathing or coughing uh, you may have uh, blood tinge sputum you may have chest heaviness these are the respiratory symptoms around 10 to 15 percent patients will feel the symptoms in later stage which is the abdominal or intestinal stage where larva become adult and matures over there so there what happens you will feel abdominal distension abdominal pain abdominal heaviness you may have diarrhea you may have vomiting so these are the most important symptoms and again you will find that a child or adult they are having less desire of eating and most importantly because they are not eating properly they will be malnourished. Again the treatment it contains the drug albendazole okay which is very common in India and you can get it anywhere but before you take any treatment, please consult your doctors and then you must uh, take your treatment. Okay, and the, this is a single dose treatment. Most of the times you, you may have two, three drugs available for the treatment and it's a single dose treatment. You must be thinking that doctor, is it uh, true that if I get infected once in lifetime with escariasis, uh, I, I got immunated? No. If you get once, you are not get immunated yourself you may acquire escariasis again within any given time and there are numbers where in endemic and epidemic areas in the world in asia particularly where people are getting every two three months they are getting infected with escariasis you need to prevent it by uh, drinking boiled water food contaminated no, try to uh, prevent outside food because if people are not washing their hands after you know uh, defecation or after they go to toilet and then they use their hands and give it to you and serve you and you eat that food and you also get infected. Okay, in India, this is very common. You eat outside street food and you get infected. Maybe in fact, we are getting so many adult patients with escariasis because of uh, you know outside or street foods. Okay, you can eat it, but be, you know, sure while you are eating outside. And another thing is uh, hand hygiene. Uh, whenever you are outside, uh, hand hygiene is the most important pivotal part of the prevention. Uh, hand hygiene, like washing your hands with soap. And another thing is, wherever 
uh, human feces are being used as a fertilizers that soils also get contaminated so if somewhere you find you need to tell them and we uh, uh, i would also request government to change such norms